2012 Ford Focus, 160,000 miles. Holy cow. Um, it's starting out in second gear, then skipping to fourth, and then going to sixth. And it's jerking really hard between the gears. Once again, starting out in second, jerking, going to fourth. Transmission fault light is on. Oh, um, so let's go scan it and see what codes are in it. Pulling from a stop here once again, going into the shop, and, well, back there it jerked really hard from a stop. The old Miracle Machine about to save the day yet again. Okay. Loading. Goodness me, they're, um, oh, you, you can't tell, but this is all faded and stuff looking, but, uh, look at that. Both of their screens are messed up. I don't know why the camera's not picking that up, but it's dark, and, um, yeah. Anyway, getting to the point here, P07A2 and P2700. Okay, P07A2, friction element A, performance or stuck off. Step one in diagnosis, turn clutch A by hand. Okay. Nobody cares about screens. You're trying to figure out what's wrong with your car. If you're trying to save time and not watch the rest of the video, you probably need a clutch job, but uh, let me make sure. With the forks and all that. Luck rep set on Amazon. It also had a cylinder two misfire code, unrelated, but um, I'm gonna look at that too. Right now I'm getting access. To, I'm getting access right now to the upper clutch actuator to remove that and then have access to turn clutch A by hand. Just pulling the air box out of here. <laughs> okay, slow down, Big Ben. Slow down. It's not a drag race. This is an E8. Uh, socket to get these bolts off the actuator. You can also use a quarter inch six point socket. Come on. Come on. And four. Get these four bolts out of here. Promise we're almost there. You guys have seen my videos before, know how close we are to testing this. All right, that's the clutch A, um, that's the splines. The motor here, when commanded by the TCM, right here, uh, turns, which rotates this, which applies a clutch fork, uh, moves and applies a clutch. I smell burnt clutch right now, just so you know. I have a clutch reset tool for a DPS-6. You can get that on Amazon for 12 bucks. Um, it splines into there, meshes. Now I have control over the clutch. Let me sit you down. I'm gonna rotate counterclockwise, however, first. Since it's in the release position, lightly turn clockwise. Yep, it it goes past its stops. It should not go any further, but look at that. That fork's messed up, but let me do the proper test. When it's at its rest position, the released position, you need to turn the fork about 12 times counterclockwise. It should feel butter smooth. And then uh, when you pull the ratchet off and slowly release the extension, it should release near instantly. Let's do that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. I've turned it counterclockwise about twelve times. It felt pretty smooth the whole time, actually, but now I'm going to release it. That released uh, really nice and quickly there. However, once again, it should not turn counter or it should not turn clockwise past its stops. That means the bearings in the fork are gone. Or they're coming apart. See, look at that. Hardly any effort at all. It's going past its stops. Here's a clutch fork out of the car. Not the one I'm looking at right now. This is just an extra one I have. Okay, when you turn that clockwise, um, it sh in the release position, it should not move because then you would be pulling this uh, inner part here. When you turn it clockwise, it'll pull this this way, and it's at its stop, so it should not go anymore. Since it is going more, that means something's damaged inside of here. When you turn it counterclockwise, it's pushing it outwards like this. Now, um, how that works is there's kind of an angle in there, 
and when it's pushed inward it raises this up to apply a clutch this is matched with a slave cylinder right here it pushes the clutch and applies it and once again since it's turning in the fully released position that means it's damaged in here and that's what's causing the code therefore these people unfortunately need a clutch job um, I'll put a link for a luck rep set in the uh, description below that is the OEM clutch forks slave cylinder hardware pretty much everything you need except a couple odds and ends hardware for our removing in the transmission and um, transmission fluid um, but it's pretty much everything you need and it's OEM parts for only like six hundred and fifty dollars on Amazon um, it's an I'm gonna have an Amazon affiliates link so it helps me out I get a small commission on each uh, time you click the link and buy it so I've also got uh, videos on how to remove the transmission both on a lift and at home in the driveway and I have video uh, a video on how to replace the clutch and the forks without any special tools at all I'll put those links in the description as well and if you have any questions let me know below in the comments please leave a like and subscribe and once again I'm here to help you out if you have any questions with your focus transmission feel free to ask have a great day